Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing very well today. So I apologize for my absence. I've been a little bit busy. I did go on a quick little trip for work. Um, I had to travel to Plano, which is outside of Dallas for a work event and um, I just wasn't home and I was tired whenever I came back and now I actually get a little bit of um, a couple of days off for um, an observance of the Easter holiday so I was hoping to film and just kind of catch up with you all um, but today's video I did purchase a few things whenever I was in Plano from the shop miss a store um, they have tons of locations I want to say either they were founded in Dallas or maybe that's just one of like their larger warehouses because they have a lot of locations over there. But anyways, they have a lot of locations and we're actually getting some in San Antonio, but I decided since I was there to go ahead and try out those locations. And I had gone once before um, and I thought it would be fun to go again and kind of check out what they had that was new. Um, so anyways, I actually have some clips of, um, I guess that's called B-roll, if you will, um, of just kind of like what they had in the store. They had all kinds of stuff, right? Shop Miss A has um, everything from beauty, like beauty sponges, makeup sponges, hair clips, hair accessories, nail polishes, all kinds of makeup. They even have different, um, like nail stuff, um, nail care stuff. I mean, the list goes on. There are so many different products um, that are available. And what's cool is everything is really affordable. So everything for the most part is $1.25, if not $1.50. Um, obviously some of the larger sets or larger items like makeup brush sets or things like that, those are, I wanna say maybe like 10 bucks, but still really, really affordable. So. I wanted to do a full face. I've done one of these before on my channel and I don't have absolutely everything for a full face. I had to pull for a powder blush, a powder bronzer, or just bronzer in general, and then a concealer, but everything else I do have. What I picked up, I wanna put something on my lips because they're feeling a little bit dry. Um, so I picked up, it's called their Jelly Jam Lip Mask. And this one just looked really cute, real nice. And this is strawberry. Um, I saw that they had a different like amount of other like flavors um, or scents, but I went with strawberry. I think they had maybe like a watermelon one also. Um, maybe a mint one, a honey one. I don't really remember all of them, but um, I went with strawberry. I also really loved the pink packaging. So here's what the packaging looks like. It's this really cute, like pink, light pink color. And mm, it smells really good. Here's what it looks like with the lid off. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. It was not kidding. It is a jelly for sure. That is a lot. I was not expecting that much. I thought it was going to be a little bit more solid or thicker. Like I had to like kind of break the layer. Ooh, this feels nice. Mm, that feels really nice. Um, I actually really appreciate that texture. It's something a little bit different than what I'm used to. Like I said, when it comes to lip masks, I'm used to something that's a little bit um, how to explain it? Like, again, you kind of have to break that layer, like that, not layer, but you have to like dig your nail into it. And this was like super ready to go already. All right. So, so far so good. I really enjoy that lip mask. Okay. Now let's go in with a primer and I'm a little bit worried about this one. This is the no pore primer. Really love the packaging. Um, and this is a silicone based primer. That's why I'm nervous about this. That minimizes the appearance of pores, mattifies the skin and creates a smooth canvas to wear alone or for makeup application. I'm a little bit nervous about this. I thought maybe Maybe this would be more of like a cream, but this is definitely a silicone primer. I mean, you can see right here that texture. I don't love these. And if I'm being honest with you, this might be the only time I use this because I'm just, I'm not into those types anymore. I actually feel like they have the reverse effect when it comes to makeup application. I feel like makeup just tends to be a little bit slippy slidey all day long on top of a silicone based primer but we'll see, we'll see how this works. One thing about Shop Miss A 
is it really does tend to impress me um, their products so nothing revolutionary I don't really see anything too pore filling no not really but Anyways, so for foundation, I have two options. So I saw this right at like the front of the store. This is a CC cream. And most of the products I picked up are from the brand AOA Studio. That's one of the brands at Shop Miss A. Um, it's definitely more of like a respected brand in my opinion. Like I do enjoy a lot of the products from their line. Um, and this is a color correcting cream. I did pick up the shade fair and like here you can see that this was only a dollar 88 and you get a lot of product in here you get a whole fluid ounce of product so i have this one and that might be what i go in with today but i'm so excited because i've been wanting to try out this foundation for a long time um, this is the buildable satin foundation and again from aoa studio it's that dropper style packaging and i picked up the shade buff and I don't know like I don't know if I want to use a CC cream or use this one I think I'm gonna use this one um, because I've always been wanting to try it out um, it says on the bottle to shake well but I've seen this foundation many times in store but they've never had my shade so I was really happy that this location had a lot of shades available so let's go ahead and put this on i do want to go ahead and put on a little bit of setting spray though um, this is the one from catrice it's just the dewy glow fixing spray just something to hydrate moisturize the skin Ooh, this looked a little bit i don't like the way it looked in here let me shake it some more it looked a little thick i'm not sure if it was supposed to look like that i don't know if you can tell it kind of just looks a little bit thick there on the applicator, but here we go. This isn't the best, like this isn't my favorite way to apply foundation, but let's, let's start with that because I can barely see through the camera. And I'm using my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Okay, I mean, that looks really good. I am gonna add a little bit more because I got more coverage on this side than I did on this side. Let's just do a little bit more here and here. I don't even know if it went, and then some on my nose. Wow, I'm really amazed at how good this looks. Um, on camera, I look pretty ghostly, but I think it's a pretty decent shade match in person. Wow, I mean, I think that looks really good. Um, okay, so now I do wanna go in with concealer. I feel like I look so crazy. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna use because I didn't see a conceal well they had concealers but nothing I was interested in so I'm gonna use the one that's in my shop my stash this is the makeup revolution conceal and define concealer love this one and I have the shade c4 I don't have a lot to conceal because I feel like the foundation did a fairly good job at doing that so I am just going to do my under eyes. Maybe I'll do a little bit on the side as well. All right, so I'm really liking the base so far. I mean, I think everything looks really good. Um, like I said, I think the um, foundation did a really good job at, you know, covering up my redness, any discoloration that I had. And of course the concealer <laughs> definitely helped with my under eye area. Um, okay, so I have this blush and I'm not gonna lie, I don't know if I wanna use it, but I definitely should for you guys. But this is super cute. And I think this is from, so it's from AOA Studio as well. This is the Paw Paw Plush Blush. And it's a gel liquid blush, but look at this color. I mean, this looks like a nail polish. It's a red color. This is in the shade Alto, I think, A-L-T-O. Um, and I guess I'll put this on 
for you guys. Um, let me shake it up actually. So funny story, I had actually picked this up because there is a there's a location or a couple locations in Austin, um, but I decided. Well, no, I picked one up. I didn't really like the shade, so I have already since decluttered it. But I really, really enjoy this shade. So I was like, let's go ahead and give this one a go. I mean, this is straight up red on the back of my hand. So I'm going to like blend it out. Oh my gosh, I'm like so nervous about this. And I'm just gonna put some there. And I just washed my brushes. So here's my Fenty 125 face brush. And let's just start blending. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look crazy. So this isn't blending that easily. Um, and these are, I mean, this is pretty matte. This is very matte. It's not, there's no, like absolutely, there's no color to this, or not color, there's no dew to this, um, which I, I tend to like something that's a little bit more glowy, but this is, this is so pigmented, oh my gosh. Like this is probably level of rare beauty, if not more, but I will say these dry so fast, so definitely do one cheek at a time because it is a matte formula. Oh my gosh, this is so bright. But it's blending okay, but I have to go in with both. This is this is not my best, my favorite liquid blush formula, like at all. This is, I mean, it was very affordable. I'm definitely getting pigment, but it is very hard to blend out and I think it did lift up a little bit of my foundation, so that's a little bit frustrating. I'm going with like a little bit more here on this side. Um, but yeah, I don't love this. I will say I really enjoy having a red in my collection. Like I'm looking forward to that at least. Let me add, I guess, a little bit more on this side now. But it's not my favorite formula. Like I would be a little bit stressed out if I was using this early in the morning, getting ready before work. Um, but I will say it blended out. But like I said, I feel like if you are a beginner to liquid blush, I would not recommend this. Definitely not this shade, like at all. If you're someone who has a ton of experience with liquid blush and you want a red blush in your collection, I do definitely think that this could work. Um, but I would recommend doing one cheek at a time, like I said, because it sticks. Like where you first place it, it sticks. So I'm really glad I didn't go in with like the applicator and like dot it. But I mean, I think it looks good. It's just, it's not a favorite formula. So anyways, that is the plush blush and it definitely gave me flush to my cheeks. So now I want to set the skin and I'm really excited about this because I have had really good luck with um, Shop Miss Say's powders in the past or AOA Studios powders. And um, this is called their Puff and Set setting powder. And here is what it looks like. They had a couple of shades to choose from or I think a few shades actually. They had a translucent color. I wanna say they might have had a deeper color and then they had this brightening color, a, a banana one. That's what they had, a banana one. Um, and so this actually comes with a really, I would think, nice puff here. And I picked up the brightening shade and this, I'm hoping I can use this all over my face. I'm honestly not sure. Okay, I guess I'll use this little bit on my, I like to do my face first though. Okay, so here's what, oh, I don't wanna spill it. Here's what the color looks like. I don't think this is brightening. This looks more like a translucent kind of-ish color. And I'm so excited. I purchased the Morphe and Ariel brushes from Ulta during the 21 Days of Beauty sale. So I am going to be using some of these brushes today. So this is the A21, and I'm gonna use this to set my face with this powder. So we shall see.
Gosh, you can tell that this is a new brush because it's like so stiff. Hey, I mean, I think the powder looks really pretty. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and set underneath my eyes. And to do that, I'm going to use the A32, is that? A3.2 brush. And I picked up the entire brush set. Um, so it was the face brushes and the eye brushes. Maybe I shouldn't have used new brushes um, while also testing out a new powder, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, the powder works. I wouldn't say that this is necessarily brightening. I think I would have to like test this out compare like maybe alone on the under on the under eyes and then use like a different powder for the face but i mean i think it did a good job like setting the face um now i do want to go in with some bronzer because i look very very fair right now okay so i'm gonna actually use i didn't even show you um my rimmel bronzer this is the natural bronzer um and i do have the shade sunlight so let's use this just to bronze up the complexion a little bit just to give some life to the skin all right so i want to go in with a little bit more blush because obviously when i powdered my face i lost a little bit of that color um and i'm gonna go in with my essence pure nude blush in the shade berry cheeks i love this one i also felt that it would match my top really nicely and i'm gonna go in with the morphe a58 okay so for highlighter i have a couple of options i picked this up i don't really know if this is a highlighter or what but this is called the glow within illuminating powder love this pink packaging and this is the shade wish on a star i kind of thought maybe this was like a finishing powder but i think this could probably work as a highlighter yeah that's definitely probably a highlight um and then i also picked this up this is the velour studio no the velour highlighter from aoa studio and it's in the shade clumsy so this looks more like a rose gold color. Um, but it also kind of feels a little bit more bouncy, like kind of like, I guess, the texture of a super shock shadow, I guess. So that's the top swatch there. So which one do, we, do I wanna use? I, I actually, I need to do my brows. I think maybe that's what's throwing me off, but let's go in with this one and see what it's all about. I've actually used like the bouncy one, like the one that's kind of like a super shock. I've tried that one before. Um, just like I threw a little bit on the, like on my cheekbones, just with my finger. And, um, and it was pretty nice, but let's go in with this one. So dust off some of the powder. Ooh, I think that's, I think that's pretty. Yeah, I think that's really pretty. Can you see that? I think you can. Yeah, I actually really like that. I think that's really pretty. Okay, so, so far, I mean, I think everything is doing pretty good like i feel like i'm liking everything um because while i don't love the face primer we shall see how it works and then also the blush i don't love but i mean it still showed up even after i applied powder so let's just keep chugging along so for eyeshadow primer i did pick this up no i already had this <laughs> Um, sorry, habit. This is the Soft Base Nude Eye Primer. I love this so, so much. Um, I had to stop reaching for it and reach for something else because I was just using this so much. But because we're doing a Shop Miss A video, let's use this as my eyeshadow primer. And it does have a little bit of a tense to it. So it definitely does have some coverage on your eyelids, which is really nice. Um, it blends out real easily and... I think it does a pretty decent job as well priming the lids. Now that that's on, let's start with the brows. So I have three brow products. 
Um, one of them, or two of them, I've already tried. One of them I love, and then the other, the other two are still new to me. So I picked up, this is actually a restock item for me. This is the Sculpting Brow Pencil, and I picked up the shade Medium Brown. So if I remember correctly, this is the one that has like that triangular tip to it. And then I picked up the micro brow pen and again this one is in the shade medium brown so thought we could try that out and then i also picked up this was from the trip that i did in austin and so i have used this and i really enjoy it this is the easy brow gel and again this is in the shade medium brown so really have been liking the brow gel i think it's really nice um and then like i said I had already tried this brow pencil and liked it. And so this was kind of a restock item. I'm hoping this is the same one because I didn't remember exactly like the name of it, but let's start with this first and then I'll go in with the brow pen and then I'll go in with the brow gel. Okay, so here is just the brow pencil, and this is in the shade medium brown. I think this worked really, really well. I, what the heck? I really, what? I really enjoy brow pencils like that because I just feel like they get the job done so much quicker. And because my brows definitely have some color to them naturally, I just feel like it's a lot faster for me to use those thicker brow pencils. Now let's go in with the brow pen. And this one is interesting because it has those three little prongs to them. So hopefully you can tell there. And I am just lightly going to, oh God, like I already blind so much. This is like super pigmented. Okay, so I like this product, but it's definitely not a necessity for me because I just don't use brow pins that much, but very light pressure with this one. You have to be careful. Um, now, I guess I don't always put on brow gel, especially a tinted brow gel whenever I already have my brows filled in, but I'll just do a light layer of this because I do like the way that it combs through the hairs. And the brush is a bit big. It's definitely not going to be liked by everyone, but I actually like it because it doesn't get super gunked up with product. I feel like it evenly distributes the pomade or the brow gel really nicely. So I like that. So for eyeshadow, I have one single shadow here, but it looks really, really pretty. This kind of reminds me of a super shock shadow. These are the Venetian Romance Creamy Eyeshadows, and I picked up the shade Whirlwind. And here's what the outer packaging looks like. It's definitely super shock shadow vibes. And here is the shade Whirlwind. It's actually a little bit of a duochrome. Um, I was kind of shocked by that, but it definitely has a little bit of like a pinky or peachy flash to it. Like, I don't know if you'll be able to tell, but um, yeah, let's use this today, I guess, because I didn't pick up like any eyeshadow palettes or anything. I haven't had the greatest luck with Shop Misses or AOA Studios eye products, so let's just go ahead and use this i think what i'm going to do though is throw a little bit of my bronzer in the crease so that's just the rimmel natural bronzer and have this to at least have some color all right so let's go in with this shadow now and i mean this feels really really nice and creamy and let's just put this on the eyelids it doesn't match my blush that well, but that's all right.
I have to say that's a little bit underwhelming. It doesn't have, I mean, it's not like it's a glitter formula. It didn't say that it was, but it doesn't have that much oomph to it. It's definitely, it's just a really light wash of color. It's nothing extraordinary. I would pass on these unless there's a shade that you, I mean, just thought was super stunning. I actually thought this was gonna be more of a rose gold shade, but when I, I don't know if maybe that was the lighting in store that the lighting kind of fooled me a little bit because this is obviously a lot more of a gold color. It looks okay. I don't think this is anything special in my opinion. Honestly, just spend a couple more dollars in my opinion and just get a ColourPop Super Shop Shadow. Like that's my opinion. Gosh, I feel like my brows are super crazy. Like I feel like they are so pigmented. I feel like the camera is making me look awful, but in person, I feel like I don't look that bad. So I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'm just having a bad camera day. Okay, for mascara, I did pick up a new mascara. I wasn't going to, but this one definitely caught my eye, it caught my attention. And this is again from AOA Studio. I feel like everything I got today was from AOA Studio, right? That's just the brands that I gravitate towards in that store because like I said, I just have the best look with those products. So this is called their Big Boss Mascara. Again, super cute packaging. I love the pink. And this is a volume and length mascara. So, ooh, this is a big daddy wand, but I think I'm gonna like it. This is a rubber bristled wand. It is huge. This is kind of giving me like, what is that, CoverGirl Lash Blast vibes, like the, the one in the orange packaging. So let's give this a go. Okay, I've been here for a really long time and this is, it. I mean, it is taking forever to get that volume going. It's definitely not getting clumpy, which is nice because I mean, I've been here a while and this is just not really giving me what I need. I mean, I think that I'm finally happy with and it took me so long to get there. So I think that's probably the best that I'm gonna get. And I think that took me the amount of time it probably would have taken me to do both of my lashes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about this mascara. I'm super bummed because I was actually really looking forward to this. I thought that it was going to be a bit more promising and it's, it's not, I mean, it takes me, like it looks good at the end, but it's taking me so many coats just to get to where I'm at. And that's because I have naturally very, like already curled and pretty long lashes. So I mainly look for volume and drama and this finally gave me that but like i said it took me so many coats but i will say for as big as a brush that this was i didn't get messy um and fun fact the brush actually smells pretty good like the mascara smells kind of good so <laughs> that's kind of weird but okay i really like the brows like i really enjoy their brow products and i think now the look is coming together. I'm starting to feel beautiful again. No, I'm just joking, but kind of. Anyways, so I'm gonna take off whatever is left of this lip mask. I really like this lip mask, you guys. It stays on. My lips, to, like to this moment right now, are still moisturized, and they still had that layer of lip balm on. A plus on that lip balm. Okay, or lip mask. Also, 
I forgot to mention this or talk about it, but I did pick this up too. This is the Squall Lips Lip Gloss, and this is in the shade Clear. I think maybe it's a lip gloss that has squalene in it. Maybe that's why the name is Squall Lips, but this feels really nice and hydrating. I mainly picked this up because I saw squalene possibly and was just like, oh, that sounds interesting, but this is okay. This is a nice kind of quick throw in your purse kind of thing for hydration on your lips like if your lips are feeling dry but it i wouldn't recommend it i, I say that it's not messy and the, the mascara and then i literally have some down here so anyways so for lipstick though i did pick these up these were super cute they had multiple colors to choose from but the packaging is just adorable i mean look at this little guy and i will say i don't love like I love the, the artwork, but I don't love the packaging because it's like paper, but it doesn't like clasp all the way. So I would not keep this in your purse. Like 100% don't keep this in your purse. Probably don't even travel with this. But I picked up the shade Snooze and it is really, really beautiful. I already tried this on and I was very impressed with the formula super comfortable really beautiful color love the packaging these kind of remind me of the how do i have mascara literally everywhere on me i don't get that okay these kind of remind me like packaging wise not formula because i've never actually tried the ones that i'm about to mention but packaging wise they look like the sephora lip stories lipsticks um but let's try this color on again this is in the shade snooze <laughs> So here's the shade. I think it's really, really pretty. It's a little bit deceiving from what the color of the lipstick actually looks like, but overall the end result is really nice and I like it. So lastly, let's go ahead and set the face again with my Catrice um, Prime and Fine Dewy Glow. Alrighty, so we have come to the end of this video. I am sorry. I feel like this video is going to be so long, so I apologize for that, but let's quickly do a rundown of the products that I tried today. Um, overall, I'm really impressed. I really, really like most of these items. If you have a Shop Miss A near you, definitely go visit the store because it's such a cute store and it's a really, really fun time, but let's get going. Okay. So the primer, the AOA Studio No Pore Face Primer. I would skip on this. I will see how my makeup wears throughout the day, but this is a silicone-based primer. Like it literally says a silicone-based primer right on it. So I would skip this one, maybe pick up their Aqua one that's hydrating. It's like in a teal bottle. I love that one, but this one, I would skip on it unless you know for sure that this is a type of primer that you like, that you usually go for. Um, this lip balm, this is the Jelly Jam Lip Mask in the shade Strawberry. I would definitely pick this up. This is so nice. The texture is definitely like a jelly and my lips feel so hydrated. They even felt hydrated once I was done putting on my makeup. So that definitely has some hold to it and it definitely has some good moisture within it. Um, really like this foundation. Um, this is the AOA Studio Buildable Satin Foundation. I do wear the shade Buff and I thought it was a really decent shade match for me really like this it builds up really nicely it has really nice coverage um, it's definitely like a medium coverage foundation but i think this could be built up to full because it's this dropper style foundation that i feel like you could really just add those layers and it would build up really nicely so i'm impressed with this i definitely look forward to keep using it um what was next the cream or the liquid blush so I like this, however, this comes with a caution sign with it. So definitely be careful, especially if you are a beginner to liquid blush. Honestly, if you're a beginner, I would just pass over this completely. Um, but if you are looking for a really nice red blush to have in your collection, I do think that this would be perfect for that, but definitely do one cheek at a time because it dries so quickly and it's not gonna be dewy or hydrating or anything like that. So if you're expecting that, then you'll be disappointed because it's definitely a matte blush. For powder, I liked this powder. I knew that I would. I really 
really enjoy the other powders that I've tried from AOA Studio, and this one is really good. It said that it was a brightening powder. I don't notice too much of the brightening, um, so I'll have to test it just underneath my eyes and then use a different powder all over my face and see if I notice a difference, but the formula, the, the powder felt really nice. Um, what else did I try? after that i think the next item i tried was this this is the um glow within illuminating powder in the shade wish upon a star or wish on a star i really liked this i thought this was really really pretty i was actually expecting it to be like a chalky mess but it actually had some really nice color to it and i thought that it did a really good job highlighting the cheeks but also not emphasizing too much texture it definitely has some glitter in it but or sparkle to it but i don't think that it's anything extreme so i did like this also if you're looking for a cream highlighter or something that's kind of similar to a super shock highlighter from ColourPop, i think that these aoa studio velour highlighters you'll really like i just literally tap these i'll add some right now I'll tap this on my cheekbones with my finger and it definitely brings some glow to the cheeks so I definitely think this is a pickup, um, something really cute and girly and easy and simple for spring and summer. So um, I would definitely check those out. I think they're really cute. Um, and then this eyeshadow, I would skip on this. I mean, I think the end result was really pretty, but the thing is, I just don't think that this is anything too special. These are the Venetian Romance Creamy Eyeshadows, again from AOA Studio. I picked up the shade Whirlwind. I thought it was pretty. It's a really nice creamy texture, but I have a feeling this might crease. Um, I know that I used the eye primer, but we'll see. But they're just not anything special in my opinion. Maybe in natural lighting, they'll look a little bit better, but that's just my opinion. And then the brow products. I was really impressed with these. I love the the brow pencil already the sculpting brow pencil highly recommend um, the micro brow pen I'm gonna keep playing around with this but this is really pigmented but it was still fairly easy to use and then I really like this brow gel the easy brow gel I really really like this um, I would pass on this Squall Lips lip gloss unless you're looking for something that's really affordable but does a good job at moisturizing the lips that you just want to kind of throw in your purse. But other than that, it was nothing special in my opinion. Um, I will have to test out the CC cream. I did not use that today. Um, but the final product, I think, was the lipstick really enjoy this and i think it's a really nice formula it's really nice hydrating and comfortable on the lips so that was everything i hope that you enjoyed um this kind of like almost full face of shop miss a makeup and um let me know if you enjoyed um me kind of including a little bit of the store um because i did I, I was a little bit nervous to do that in, in store like to do a little video but i did it for you guys but anyways if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up also i would love for you to subscribe and be a part of my youtube channel family here thank you all so much for watching and i will go ahead and see you in my next video bye